There's a friend in Fimble Valley that we're on our way to see. To hear him tell his stories, maybe stay for tea. He's a mole who's living underground, and his name is Roly Mo. Roly, 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 Roly Mo. He's the rolliest mole you'll ever know, and his name is Roly Mo. Hello to you. How do you do? <laughs> oh, can you hear that? That sounds like you go and me go. Let's go and see what's happening. Ready? Then off we go. Whee! <laughs> oh, hello there. It's a special day today. <laughs> And you go and Miko are helping me. <laughs> hello, Uncle Roly. Oh. Oh, 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 hello there, little Bo. I was just telling our friends that it's a special day today. You go, Migo, we, we go, Amigo. Let's a go, Bo. Hello there, little Bo. Hello, you two. What are you up to? Helping Rowley, of course. But why? Because... <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, we don't know, little Bo. Oh, because it's Rocket's birthday today. <gasps> Rocket's birthday? <gasps> Rocket's birthday? <gasps> Rocket's birthday! <laughs> That's right. And that's why we're wrapping his present up. <gasps> his present? <gasps> his present? <gasps> his present! <laughs> yes, his present. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go and finish off the apple crumble cake. Mm, that's one of Rocket's favourite things. <laughs> Maybe we can think of something special to give Rocket to. That's a fabulous idea, little Bo. Delicioso! Munchy crunchy! The thing is, what are we going to give him? Hmm. Maybe your busy book can help. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Fimbo! What are we going to do today, Fimbo? Look, Pom's trundle truck. And that's Little One. A shimmy shaker. And an apple. Yummity yum. This game is about things that go together. What does Fimbo go with? Is it the trundle truck? Or Little One? Or the shimmy shaker? Or the apple? Fimbo goes with his shimmy shaker. Look, here's Flory. What does Flory go with? Is it the trundle truck? Or little one? Or the apple? Oh, Flory goes with little one. Hello, Baby Pom. What does Baby Pom go with? Is it the trundle truck? Or the apple? Baby Pom goes with the trundle truck. I wonder who goes with the apple. Me, me, me! <laughs> it's Rocket. Rocket goes with the apple. Happy birthday, Rocket! Well, I know what I'm going to give Rocket for his birthday. This! It's your birthday today. Hip, 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 hooray! It's your birthday today. It's a very special day. It's your birthday today. And we just came to say... Happy birthday!
cheese. Oh, that cake. Yummy tea, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I know what I'm going to give to Rocket. What's that? A bibby. A, a bib? Yes. But Rocket's big. He doesn't need a bibby. He does, because he's going to be eating in apple crumble cake. Lots of it. All over the place. Very messy. All right, then. Go and get Bibby. <gasps> Bibby? Yes, we need her. Uh, but I'm not giving Bibby to Rocket. Oh, I know. We just need to borrow Bibby for a moment. Oh. <laughs> you go. We're going to need a pencil and a piece of paper. Righty-ho. <gasps> Here's Bibby. Thank you, Miko. Paper, please, Hugo. Uh, paper. Thank you. Bibby? Bibby? Thank you. Pencil? Pencil. Now then, we're just going to draw round here. And... Mooly mo, there you go. Here's Bibby, Miko. <gasps> Bibby! And one more Bibby coming up. You just need to decorate it now, Miko. <laughs> just going to tear this round like this. Well, Rocket should be here any moment now. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> oh, there he is now. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Hippity-hoppity-hoo! How'd ya diddly-doo! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Rocket! Rocket. Ooh, I say thank you. We've all got presents for you, Rocket. <laughs> Here's mine! It's a bibby! Oh, tippity toppity me go, my very own Bibby. In case you spill your apple crumble cake! Apple crumble cake? Apple crumble cake? I am the apple crumble cake eating frog! <laughs> uh, can I sing you my present? It's a song. Oh, yes, please. Hello. It's your birthday today. Hip, 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 hooray! It's your birthday today. It's a very special day. It's your birthday today. And we just came to say... Happy birthday to you today! Happy birthday! And there's another special present. Oh, what is it? What is it? Well, as a birthday treat, you can come to the library with me to find it. Story time with Rowley Mo. Our, Our favourite time, time of day. day. We'll be back in a rockety mo. <laughs> When you take a look inside a book Who knows what you will see When you take a look inside a book It's fun as fun can be With cats and dogs and birds and frogs A monkey who says boo Ooh, Wonderful things 
dragons, and giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now, what have we here? Oh, oh when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. A special birthday story just for me, please. Ah, tippity toppity. Would you like to read the story today, Rocket? I certainly would. Thank you, Rowley. At home. Now then, are you all sitting comfortably? Yes. 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 Good. Then I'll begin. Baby Martha was nearly one year old. Her brother Josh wanted her to have a birthday party. But Mum said no. Martha doesn't understand birthdays, she explained. She's too little to have a party. Josh was very disappointed. He wanted to do something really special for his baby sister. Josh and Mum went shopping to buy Martha's presents. Josh chose a pink cuddly rabbit with soft floppy ears. On the way home, Josh thought about Martha's birthday. I bet you'd like to go to a party, he whispered to the rabbit. Suddenly, he had a brilliant idea. The next day was Martha's birthday. She wanted to play with Josh, but he was busy doing something in his bedroom and he wouldn't let anyone see, not even Mum or Dad. Please, can you blow this balloon up? Josh asked Mum. What do you want it for? It's a secret, replied Josh, and he dashed back into his bedroom. A little later, he came out again. Have we got any ribbon? he asked Dad. What do you want it for? Wait and see, answered Josh. At last, Josh was ready. He threw open the door. His bedroom was decorated with streamers and balloons, and all of Martha's toys were sitting in a big circle. It's party time, he cried. Martha went straight to the pink cuddly rabbit and gave it a big hug. Dada, she said. I think that means thank you, smiled Dad. Mum brought in the cake and everyone sang happy birthday to Martha. Then Josh helped Martha unwrap the rest of her presents. Martha didn't understand any of it, but she had a lovely time. And everyone agreed that Josh had given her the best birthday party ever! Lovely! And I've got one more present to give you. Another present? For me? For little Rockety Me? Yes. Happy birthday, Rocket. <laughs> Hello to you. How do you do? <laughs> Look, do you know what this is? It's a pot and it's got a seed in it. We're growing things at school and this is my growing thing. I wonder what it's going to grow up to be. Let's go and show Uncle Roly. Ready? Then off we go! Whee! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just looking for something. Can you guess what it is? That's right. I'm looking for my other slipper. Now, where can it be? Hello, Uncle Rolly. Mm. Oh, hello there, little Bo. I was just telling our friends that I'm looking for my other slipper. Oh, no. You haven't lost it again, have you, Uncle Rowley? Oh, no, no, no. I'm sure it's somewhere waiting to be found. Look what I've got, Uncle Rowley. Oh, whatever's in there, little Bo? My seed. Your seed? Yes. We planted seeds today at school, and my seed's going to grow. Do you think it's grown yet, Uncle Rowley? I can't see it growing. Well, no. You can't see it growing. Oh. Is it just like you can't see me growing? But I am, aren't I, Uncle Rolly? Yes, that's right. You are, little Bo. When you're one, your world has just begun. 
When you're two, there's so much to do. Hmm. When you're three, look at all you can see. <sighs> when you're four, you can do so much more. And when you're five, it's oh so good to be alive. The more you grow, the more you'll know, and the more you know, the bigger you'll be. So come with me, come and see the big wide world. The big wide world. My seed hasn't grown anymore. Well, it'll need lots of light, and you'll need to water it. Water, what? Don't water me. You know I don't like water. <laughs> no, Migo. I'm not going to water you. I'm going to water my seed. Your sneed? What's a sneed? It's seed. And look, it's in my pot. <gasps> oh! I can't see any sneeds. Where's the sneed? It's in the earth in the pot. You have to plant seeds in the earth for them to grow. Oh! What's it going to grow into? I don't know. What's it going to grow into, Uncle Roly? Hmm. Well, let's see. Perhaps your busy book can tell us about growing. That's a good idea, Uncle Roly. Busy book, busy book. Let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Baby Pom. What are we going to do today, Baby Pom? Look, there's a lamb. And that's a foal. And there's a kitten. They're all baby animals. There's a sheep. And there's a cat, too. And a horse. This is all about growing up. Do you know what the lamb will grow up to be? Is it the sheep? <coughs> or is it the horse? Or the cat? <coughs> the lamb is going to grow up to be... Is the lamb going to grow up to be a sheep? Well done. What about the foal? What will he grow up to be? Is it the cat or the horse? I think the foal is going to grow up to be a horse. You're right. The foal will grow up to be a horse. What's the kitten going to grow up to be? The kitten is going to grow up to be a cat. We did it! How many baby animals are there? One, two, three. There are three baby animals. And one, two, three mummies, too. Thank you, Baby Pom. See you again soon. Oh, I can't wait till my seed is grown up. Well, how about a story while we're waiting? Story time with Roly Mo, my favourite time of day. Oh, then let's go and find a story to share. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah. mm. got to show this to Hugo. Now where is he? Hmm. Ah, Hugo, Migo, we go, amigo. Let's a go go! <laughs> I've got something to show you. What? It's a sneed. A sneed? Yes. Oh, hello, little sneed. Can you hear me? Hmm. Maybe it's a sleep. Shall I wake it up? How are you going to do that? Easy. I'll just knock on the pot. Oh. Ah! When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds. A monkey who says boo, boo. 
wonderful things and giants and kings. And maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book. Who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. One growing story, if you please. Ah, lovely. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. Hmm. One morning, the grumpy giant was even more grumpy than usual. Fee, fi, fo, fum, he sighed. What is the matter? asked Jack. A giant should be big and friendly, and you're always in a bad mood. I can't help it, said the giant. I don't like being so big and tall. Every day birds land on my head and the clouds tickle my nose. And no one ever talks to me except you because I'm too far up. I know, he thought. I'll sell my cow and buy the grumpy giant the biggest bunch of flowers in the world. That will cheer him up. But as Jack walked into town with the cow, he felt sadder and sadder because the cow had been his friend for so long and gave him delicious milk to put on his porridge every morning. On the road, they met a tired old wizard carrying some letters. I can't walk any further, said the wizard. Climb on my cow, said Jack. The cow was a bit surprised to have a wizard on her back, but she was a good cow and carried him all the way to the post office. Thank you, Jack, said the wizard, and he gave Jack three jelly beans. But before he could pop them in his mouth, the wizard said, Be careful, Jack. Uh, these are magic jelly beans. Hooray, said Jack. Now I don't have to sell the cow. I can give the giant a jelly bean instead, and that will make him happy. So Jack gave one bean to the giant, one bean to the cow, and he kept one for himself. Jack planted his bean in the ground and waited for some magic. But nothing happened. What's the use of a magic bean if it isn't magic? said the giant, and he threw his bean away. He popped a passing cloud to show how cross he was, and it rained all over Jack, and all over the magic beans. And the beans each grew into a beanstalk. The beanstalks grew taller and taller, and then taller still, until they were as tall as the giant. So Jack made a sign which said, Magic Beanstalks! This way for the giant. And lots of children climbed up the beanstalk to say hello to the giant, and they told him jokes and made him laugh. And the giant was never grumpy again, except sometimes on a Tuesday. Lovely. Thank you, Uncle Roly. I wonder if my seed will grow like Jack's beanstalk. It just might. Let's go and see how it's doing. Come on, Uncle Roly. What are we going to do? This need will never grow now and little Bo will be so upset. Think, think. We've got to think. And who knows what it might have grown into? It could have been a banana tree. A banana tree? Or a chocolate ice cream tree. A chocolate ice cream tree. It could have grown into anything. Anything? Yes, anything. Then that's it. What's it? We've got to make a tree, and then we can pretend that it's little Bo's tree. Oh, I see. I think. Come on, we've got to find something to make a tree out of. The, the more, more you grow, grow the, the more, more you know, and the more you know. And uh, 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 there, finished. That is one... Good tree! <laughs> oh, quick! Here they come. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. Has my seed grown yet? Um, well, yes, it has. It has? It has? It's over here! <laughs> oh, mm. I say. But 
What is it? <clears throat> it's a tree. Yes, it's a, a sneed tree. <gasps> Did my seed really grow into a tree? Um, um, no. Oh, but where's my seed? It's over there. <gasps> I'm really sorry, little boat. I knocked the pot over. It was an accident. We're, We're really, really, really sorry. <laughs> really, really, really sorry. Oh, don't cry. Do you know there's something we can do about this? <gasps> there, there is? is? Of course there is. The seeds are tough little things, you know. We can just put the earth back in, like this. <laughs> and your seed will be right as rain. Thank you, Uncle Roly. You are the moliest. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> and look, Migo and Yugo's tree has all sorts of things on it. So it does. It's even got a slipper on it. <laughs> oh, splendid. I wondered where that had got to. Shall I go and get tea ready, Uncle Roly? Oh, thank you, little Bo. And I'll just wait here. What are you waiting for? Well... I'm waiting for the other slipper to grow, of course. Hello to you. How do you do? I wonder what sort of a day we're going to have today. Let's go and find Uncle Roly, shall we? Ready? Then off we go! Uh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just looking at the sparkle bugs. Oh, there are lots of them around today. Do you want to see? Uh, oh, there's one. <laughs> oh, did you see it? Hello, Uncle Roly. Oh, hello there, little Bo. I was just showing our friends a sparkle bug. Oh, I love sparkle bugs. Oh, look. There's one of my roller skates. I wonder where the other one is. Maybe I'll find it in the bedroom. You'll find Hugo and Migo in the bedroom too. They're tidying up and I've promised them a story when they've finished. Oh, I'll go and see if they need any help. Oh, you are kind, little Bo. Then you can listen to the story too. See you in the Roly Mo. <laughs> Hello. Oh, no. Oh, hello. 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 Doesn't seem to be getting any tidier. Oh, my pile is exactly the same size as when we started. <gasps> Mine too. Well, that's it. What's it? We're not going fast enough. Yes, it is. Yes, that's it. Faster, faster. You go, 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 go. Me go. A uh, go, go, go. <laughs> Those are my crayons! Uh, and and that's my rubber duck! <laughs> that's what I've been trying to tell you! You're carrying the same things backwards and forwards! Oh, no! We're never going to get our story! Don't worry, I'll help you tidy up. Has anyone seen my roller skate? <laughs> it's in your hand! <laughs> Not this roller skate, the other one. <gasps> You got another one? Yes. I've got a pair of roller skates. Look, let me show you. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Baby Pom. What are we going to do today, Baby Pom? 
Look! A pair of trainers, red wellies, and roller skates. Oh dear, they're all muddled up. Let's put them together again in their pairs. There's the red welly. Where's the other red welly? Look, there it is. Hooray, we found the other red welly. They go together. They match. That's the roller skate. Where's the other roller skate? Look, there it is, the other roller skate. Which one next, Baby Pom? The trainer. A pair of trainers. They match. Hooray! We did it. How many pairs are there? One, two, three. Three pairs. Thank you, Baby Pom. See you again soon. So, we're looking for another one of those. Yes, we are. But it's going to take us a little while. What a mess. I wish we could magic the mess away. This is my magic word. I'm going to say it now. Snuzzle me, snoot! I could do magic. I I'm going to show you how. Here are some of the things you do If you can do magic too You could make all this be less And you could tidy up all the mess You could disappear from there to here Be far away and then be Dream. Fly high, high, high up in the sky. Catch a ride on an eagle passing by. Yeah. All of these things you see come true. If just one magic word would do. This is my magic word. I'm gonna say it now. Snuzzle me, snoot. We can do magic. We're gonna show you how. Well, we're nearly there. <laughs> oh, hello there. We just came to see how you're getting on. Wow. <laughs> We've really nearly finished. Yes, we have really nearly, really. Well, all right. Uh, why don't I go and get you a story while you finish off? <laughs> Come on, you snoots. Let's get it together. We've got to go, go, go. Ready? One, two. <gasps> Moly mo. It's all tidied up. You go. Me go. We, we go. go. Amigo. Yippity dippity, story time with Roly Mo. Our favourite time of day! Yeah! When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. 
Please may I have one story for three very good tidy uppers. Thank you. Ah, here we are. Ooh, ooh, I don't remember that bump in the carpet being there. Whoa! Oh, I say! Back in a roly mo! Well, that was interesting. Are you all right, Uncle Roly? Oh, I'm fine, little Bo, thank you. <clears throat> now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. Hmm. One morning, the grumpy giant was even more grumpy than usual. Fee, fi, fo, fum, he sighed. What is the matter? asked Jack. A giant should be big and friendly, and you're always in a bad mood. I can't help it, said the giant. I don't like being so big and tall. Every day birds land on my head, and the clouds tickle my nose. And no one ever talks to me except you because I'm too far up. Jack was a kind boy and wanted to help his friend the grumpy giant. I know, he thought. I'll sell my cow and buy the grumpy giant the biggest bunch of flowers in the world. That will cheer him up. But as Jack walked into town with the cow, he felt sadder and sadder because the cow had been his friend for so long and gave him delicious milk to put on his porridge every morning. On the road, they met a tired old wizard carrying some letters. I can't walk any further, said the wizard. Climb on my cow, said Jack. The cow was a bit surprised to have a wizard on her back, but she was a good cow and carried him all the way to the post office. Thank you, Jack, said the wizard, and he gave Jack three jelly beans. Jack was pleased because his tummy was rumbling and he loved jelly beans. But before he could pop them in his mouth, the wizard said, Be careful, Jack. Uh, these are magic jelly beans. Hooray! said Jack. Now I don't have to sell the cow. I can give the giant a jelly bean instead, and that will make him happy. So Jack gave one bean to the giant, one bean to the cow, and he kept one for himself. The cow ate her bean, got the hiccups, and had to lie down. Jack planted his bean in the ground and waited for some magic. But nothing happened. What's the use of a magic bean if it isn't magic, said the giant, and he threw his bean away. He popped a passing cloud to show how cross he was, and it rained all over Jack, and all over the magic beans, and the beans each grew into a beanstalk. The beanstalks grew taller and taller, and then taller still, until they were as tall as the giant. So, Jack made a sign which said, Magic Beanstalks, this way for the giant. And lots of children climbed up the beanstalk to say hello to the giant, and they told him jokes and made him laugh. And the giant was never grumpy again, except sometimes on a Tuesday. Lovely. Thank you, Uncle Roly. And now, you go, me go. I think you've got a bit more tidying up to do, haven't you? Yes. Sorry, Roly. We didn't mean for you to trip over like that. No, no, we didn't, no. Oh, that's all right, Hugo and Migo. You just need to think about what you're doing sometimes. Come on, I'll help you. Oh, oh that's better. Let's go over there. Right. This is not meant to be here. There we are, all done. Ooh. <sighs> ah! Ah! Ooh. Ooh, whatever was that? Me go. Hello to you. How do you do? <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> 
I'm Little Bo, and I'm pleased to meet you. I've just got back from mole school. I made a new friend today, and I'm going to tell my Uncle Roly all about it. Come on, let's go and find him. First, we're going to slide down the slide. It's one of my best things to do. Ready? Then off we go! <laughs> oh, hello there. Welcome to Fimble Valley. I'm so glad that you could come today. We've got so many things to show you and to tell you. Oh, I want to show you my roly scope. When I look through it, I can see all sorts of things. <laughs> come and take a look. I can see the purple meadow and the red fluffy puffs in my garden. Aren't they lovely? Hello, Uncle Rooly. Oh, hello there, little Bo. I was just telling our friends about all the things we've got to show them. Oh, Uncle Rooly, I made a new friend today at school. Did you know? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I told them all about you, Uncle Roly. Oh, and what did you tell them? I told them that you live under Fimble Valley and that you've got a lovely big home with a kitchen and a bathroom and a bedroom and a living room. Oh, and I told them that I've got my own flower patch in your garden, too. <laughs> oh, yes. And don't forget my library. Oh, no. I wouldn't forget your library and all the wonderful books you've got with all those exciting stories. And what else did you tell your friend, Little Bo? Well, I told them all about Hugo and Migo. Oh, yes. Where are Hugo and Migo? Hugo! Migo! Migo! Amigo! Let's a go go! <laughs> Roly Mo! Little Bo! What do you know? <laughs> I know that I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, a pleased to meet you too, little Bo. <laughs> Hello to you. How do you do? Hello to you. How do you diddly do? <laughs> <laughs> Hello to you. How do you diddly do? Hello to you. How do you diddly diddly do? <laughs> And hello to you. How do you diddly 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 do? <laughs> oh, I know what I've got to show you. My busy book. Come and look at my busy book with me. Busy book, busy book. Let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Baby Pom. What are we going to do today, Baby Pom? Oh, look, it's Granny Rabbit. And that's Little Rabbit. There's Mum and Dad Rabbit. They're a family. <laughs> Who's the youngest? Is it Granny Rabbit, Little Rabbit, or Mum and Dad Rabbit? It's Little Rabbit. He's the youngest. That's right. Little Rabbit is the youngest. Now, who is the oldest in the family? Is it Granny Rabbit? Or Mum and Dad Rabbit. It's Granny. Granny Rabbit is the oldest. That's right. Granny Rabbit is the oldest one in the family. That leaves Mum and Dad Rabbit. Are Mum and Dad Rabbit younger or older than Granny Rabbit? Mum and Dad Rabbit are younger than Granny Rabbit. That's right. And they're older than Little Rabbit. So Granny is the oldest. Then Mum and Dad. And Little Rabbit is the youngest. Oh, look. Here comes Baby Rabbit. Now Baby Rabbit is the youngest. Thank you, Baby Pom. See you again soon. Oh, that was...
was fun. Thank you for doing it with me. I'd better start thinking about getting tea ready. <laughs> See you later. Snootigator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that funny noise? <laughs> oh, it's Hugo. He's having a nap. He likes having naps. And I like eating. Don't forget to tell them that. That's right. You like eating, Migo. Yes. I like sprouts and molly munchies and carrots and guacamole and pumpkin jam and wibbly wobbly fun. <laughs> and sprouts. Did I say sprouts? Sprouts are munchy, crunchy, velvetini, delicioso and yumptious. Oh, scrumptious. And cherry melon stew. <gasps> I like cherry melon stew and sprouts. <laughs> I think you like everything, Migo. <laughs> oh, did I tell you I like sprouts? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> and I like being a snoot <laughs> and sprouts. Being a snoot is the best thing in the world. <laughs> Imagine you were passing by and you said to me, what exactly is a snoot? And why does a snoot wear a suit? This is how I would reply. I would say to you, a snoot's not a fruit or a coot or a newt. And here's why I wear this suit. A snoot is a beaut. A beautiful thing. And a snoot likes to sing. A snoot has a snooter. He can use as a hooter. He's sunny and bright all day. A snoot likes to scoot around in his suit. And a snoot's just happy to play. You're a snoot, and I know how to scoot. Toot toot, you're a snoot. I like wearing a suit. Toot toot, you're a snoot. Not a newt or a coot. Toot toot, what a beaut. I'm a snoot. <laughs> a snoot likes a treat. Well, we all like to eat. Yummy yum. And some like sleeping too. So next time you're out, just give him a shout and a wave if he jumps on you. <laughs> toot toot, I'm a snoot, and I know how to scoot. Toot toot, you're a snoot. I like wearing a suit. Toot toot, you're a snoot. A snoot has a snooter. He can use as a hooter. <laughs> He's sunny and bright all day. Toot toot, I'm a snoot. And you're wearing a suit. Not a newt, not a coot. What a beaut. I'm a snoot. And so cute. Got, Got a scoot. <laughs> scoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there you all are. I was just about to come and find you. How about a story before tea, eh? Oh, yes, please, Uncle Roly. Then I'll be back in a Roly Mo. <laughs> story time with Roly Mo. Our, Our favourite time, time of day. day. When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Ooh, oh, wonderful things, and giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. A story for new friends to share, if you please. Ah, thank you. <laughs> ah, here we are. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. yes. Good. Then I'll begin. Dad, will you tell us a story? Said Weezer. Of course I can, said Dad. Can you make one up? Asked Bellaboo. One about the blue galoo. And the pink a plink, said Weezer. All right then, said Dad. A long, long time ago, down in the Fimbly Bimbly jungle, it was very quiet. It was so quiet that you could hear the purple frog falling off a log. So one day, when three strange animals arrived in the jungle, everyone hid. Hello, said the blue galoo to no one in particular. Is there anyone here? said the pink kaplink. 
Maybe they're still in bed, said the red ZZ. Just then, the baby elephant sneezed. <coughs> Boo to you, called the blue galoo. Do you want to play with us? But all the animals were too shy to come out to play. Maybe they're playing hide and peep, said the pink a -plink. Hmm, said the blue galoo. I think I know what to do. So the blue galoo sang a silly song. I'm the blue galoo, and I'd like to get to know you. And the pink a -plink balanced a coconut on her nose, and the red ZZ -Z stood on his head, and the baby elephant giggled, and the giraffes tried not to laugh, and the lion started to smile. One by one the animals came out to play, and they laughed and they sang and they danced until the sun went down. Weesa and Bellaboo gave Dad a great big huggle. Come and play with us now, said Bellaboo. What are we going to play, said Dad. Hide and peep, of course, said Weezer. Lovely. Oh, I do like meeting new friends. There's so much to tell them about. With lots of friends to meet there. It's our favourite place to go. He's always there to greet you. I'm a mole who's living underground And my name is Roly Mo Roly, 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 Roly Mo He's the friendliest mole you'll ever know And my name is Roly Mo No matter what the weather brings Come rain, wind, snow or sun we fill our days with laughter and always have such fun. It's warm and snug playing underground with our dear friend Roly Mo. Roly, 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 Roly Mo. He's the friendliest mole you'll ever know. And my name is Roly Mo. And my name is Roly Mo. I think making new friends is really one of my best things. Me too. As long as they don't eat all the moly munchies. Me go. Hello to you. How do you do? I wonder what we're going to do today. Let's go and find out. Ready? Then off we go. Whee! <laughs> You go! Me go! We, we go. go! Amigo! Let's a go! go. See you later! Snooty Gator! La 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 I wonder where everyone is today. I'm here. Hello, Hugo. What are you doing today? Uh, don't know. What are you doing today? Let's do something together. Oh, yes, it is, yes. But what? Uh, we could play a game. Hide and peep? Hide and peep it is. You hide and I won't peep. Ready? <gasps> One, three, seventy-seven. Come on. Let's go and hide. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just going to make a pizza. Look, I've rolled out the dough. <laughs> See? Rolly dough. <laughs> now, what shall we put on our pizza? <laughs> oh, what are you cooking, Rolly? Oh, hello, Migo. I was just telling our friends that I'm making a pizza. <laughs> For little Bo? Yes, she'll be here in a minute. Now, what do you think she'd like on her pizza? <gasps> I know, I know. Uh, she likes carrots. Oh, carrots. And sprouts. Sprouts? Well, I like sprouts. Oh, all right then. We'll put some sprouts on too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and onionies. Don't forget the onionies. And onionies. Uh, oh, I mean onions. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What do we have to do next, Rolly? Well, uh, 
Ooh, very smart. Uh, now I'm going to chop the vegetables up. Great! I'll help. I'll watch you. Ninety-nine. <laughs> Let's hundred. hide behind the bed. <laughs> Shh. Wherever you are, don't fall asleep. I'm on my way to play hide and peep. <laughs> How did you find me so quickly? I'm very good at hide and peep. Your turn now. I'll hide and you mustn't peep. All right. One, two, three, four, five. What are you doing mm. now? I'm chopping an onion. Anionis. I know that. <laughs> and did you know that they can make your eyes water? I know. Water. You know I don't like water, Rolly. <laughs> no. What I mean is that onions can make you cry. Oh, no. Nothing can make me cry. I'm too big to cry. Oh, all right, then. Well, uh, don't get too close. Uh, are you all right? Uh, fine. I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm... I'm, uh, 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 I'm crying! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> I still can't find Hugo. Oh, maybe he's in the kitchen. Let's have a look and see. <gasps> oh, no! Nico's crying! Oh, dear. I wonder what's wrong. Found you! But I was supposed to be finding you. I know, but I couldn't wait any longer. Look at Migo. <laughs> uh, Migo's crying? Yes. But he never cries. Much. I know what we've got to do. We've got to find a way to cheer him up. But how will we do that? Let's look in my busy book. That might help us. Oh. Oh, there's your busy book, little Bo. Busy book, busy book. Let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Flory! What are we going to do today, Flory? Ah, look! A kitten chasing a ball of wool! What sound does a kitten make? Meow! Meow! Oh, yes! Kittens go meow! That leaf is being blown all around in the wind. What sound does the wind make? Whoosh! Whoosh! <laughs> yes, the wind goes whoosh! Look, there's an owl! What sound does an owl make? Tweet to woo! Tweet to woo! That's right! An owl goes tweet to woo! Oh, look, a pair of wellies! And a puddle! The wellies are going to splash in the puddle. Splash! That's a good sound. I like all of those sounds. What's that sound? What's Flory doing? <laughs> Flory's blowing us a kiss. Thank you, Flory. See you again soon. That's what Mego needs. What? A nice noise? No, a great big kiss. I'm going to give him a big gormous kiss. I'm going to give him the biggest kiss in Fimble Valley. That'll make him feel better. Oh, and I've thought of something else to make him feel better. What? Think of things that make you happy. Make a list of things you love. Don't be a grump or make a fuss. All you have to do Sing with us <laughs> If you really want to sing If you really want to smile Then just think of all these happy things Being happy is our style Sunny days and pretty flowers The colour pink and rhymes are fun Rolly stories, little floppy And great big kisses from my Rainy days 
and the colour orange Taking naps I so enjoy These are the bestest things for me A little snudge is my favourite toy If you really want to sing If you really want to smile Then just think of all these happy things Being happy is our style <laughs> Now, why don't you have a little sitty down in here, Migo, while I finish the pizza off? <laughs> ah, there you are. Um, Uncle Rolly, is Migo all right? <gasps> oh, yes, he's fine. He was just helping me to... Uh... <coughs> bro, bro, let me give you a kiss. <coughs> or three, or ten, or <coughs> twenty-two. I'm going to give you infinity kisses. <coughs> But I'm trying to cheer you up, and a kiss will make you feel better. But I don't need cheering up. You do. You were crying. I wasn't crying. Well, I was, but only because... I was chopping onions. They could make you cry sometimes. So that's why Migo was crying. Well, I'd better put the pizza in the oven, otherwise we'll never be ready for tea. Uh, little Bo, will you choose a story for Hugo and Migo? Of course I will. <gasps> story time with Little Bo! Our favourite time of day. Then I'll be back in a roly mo. When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Boo! Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. <gasps> Please may I have a story that's perfect for Migo. Oh, thank you. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. yes. Good. Then I'll begin. Ben and Charlie were having breakfast when Dad gave Mum a big kiss. It made a squelchy sort of sound. I want to see what a kiss looks like, said Ben. They thought kisses looked very funny. <laughs> they lined up all their teddies and gave each one a kiss. The teddies liked this game. When they came downstairs, Granny was up. She was staying with them because she hadn't been very well. The twins both gave her a kiss. Are you kissing me better? said Granny. Ben and Charlie knew that their kisses had helped. They went out into the garden. Ben got into the wheelbarrow. Charlie tried to push it, but... Oh! <laughs> ben hurt his knee. He started to cry. Dad gave Ben a hug and a kiss and had a look at his knee. We'll have to open a hospital soon, said Granny. Dad put a special plaster on the sore knee. Then Charlie started to cry. He thought it was his fault Ben had hurt his knee. Don't worry, Charlie. Accidents will happen, said Dad. He put a plaster on Charlie's knee as well, just for fun. But next time... Leave the wheelbarrow till Mum or I are there. Then Ben and Charlie kissed each other better. And so that Granny didn't feel left out, they kissed Granny again. Oh, I'm going to be better in no time, said Granny. And when Mum came back from work, she had to have kisses from everyone. Oh, that story made me feel so happy. Thank you, little Bo. I 
feel really happy too. Good. I like it when everyone's feeling happy. If you really want to sing, if you really want to smile, then just think of all these happy things. Being happy is our style. <laughs> Don't cry, Nico. Oh, I'm, I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because I'm so happy. I'm scrumptiously happy. I couldn't be more happy than right now, right this minute, because there's a happy pizza for tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, haven't we had fun today? Yes! yes. It's, it's been, been a rowdy, moly day! <laughs> you will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio. <laughs>